Campaign review experience lets you finalize everything, ensuring that you've got everything in place and you want to go ahead and send the right message to the right person. So step one over here to observe very quickly is you can go ahead and toggle through all your leads on the left side to review all the copy if that's something you want to do. Now, the next thing you want to go ahead and look at is, is the copy making sense? And sometimes you want to add that one extra layer of value. So in this particular situation, I can add a lot of value. Um, let's do it, mate. And this is something I want to add just for David Carroll himself. And what that means is as soon as I make that update, you can see this thing called save shows up. And you won't see that if I just copy this over here and I come over here, you can see that nothing of that sits here. But obviously that's variant B altogether. But let's go to variant A. You can see that doesn't show up. But the second I go ahead and do just even that, save shows up. And what that does is it basically means that we are going to go ahead and allow you to send custom messages line by line per lead if you don't want to go ahead and send bulk messages. So the bulk messages will go to the other variants or the other leads, but you can also do it on a per lead level and make it super, super, super hyper personalized. I'll click on save. So that means this person's going to get this message. And guess what? This is variant A, because when you go to the sequences section, you can see that this is variant A. If I go to final review and if I go to the second part, you can see this is variant B because it toggles A, B, A, B, and I've added variant B over here as an example, right? So we've got variant A, variant B, and then variant A, and if there's more, it just toggles across nicely and simply. So let's just go ahead and look at one more thing over here. You want to go ahead and look at the follow-ups. And if you click on email too, you can see the follow-up. It says, hey, David, I reached out to you today. Why is it today? If you watched the previous video on how to set up a campaign, we can see the sequences. You can see it says one day. Now, I'm not only going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and shift that to maybe four days, right? And click on save. Now, if we go ahead and click on this, Go back it says i reached out to you four days ago how awesome is it uh, uh, is that right completely dynamic and it will do that based upon when the message is sent to that lead as well so it's sorted and taken care of and you don't need to worry about a single thing now what you have as an option over here is to click on send test email and you can decide which email address you want to send the test email to and that will help you go ahead and review your email you know formatting making sure all the variables set in place and so on and so forth now, please, please, please do not. This is a very important thing that I'm going to mention. You are not meant to use the send test email as a way to verify and validate whether your mails are landing in spam or not. This is using the Lambda mechanism or our separate IP protocol just for sending test emails for the pure purpose of going ahead and ensuring that your actual formatting is right. If you want to do any sort of mail placement testing, et cetera, et cetera, use an actual campaign to send out messages because that's where the high performance IP addresses, high performance campaign infrastructure, high performance network effects are put in place to ensure you've got premium deliverability. This is simply to just go ahead and ensure that your copy is good and everything's happy. You may have a question saying, why is the signature not filled out? Well, the signature will be available to preview in the test email because what happens is when you click on send test email, we'll actually select a mailbox that you've collected from the campaign setup process, which is another video for you to look at and use the signature from that particular mailbox to send it. Why is this not filled up right now? It's not filled up right now because we actually don't know which mailbox is going to be used to send out this particular message to vbub at gmail.com at the point of sending. Sure, you've gone ahead and selected, uh, you know, 100, 200, 50, uh, 300 mailboxes, but those mailboxes might be used for different things at different points in time. And it's not fair for us to go ahead and show you just one mailbox that may not end up being used to send out the message for that lead at that time. So it's filled as a signature over here, but that is completely, completely, completely replaced and injected with the right signature at the point of sending dynamically to ensure that when that location of the lead to the email address happens. Let's say you're doing ESP matching, or maybe you've removed a mailbox, you've added a mailbox and a whole bunch of stuff that will be taken care of dynamically and intelligently by Smarty. So therefore, this is set up this way. Cool. And when you start a live campaign, as I mentioned, great. So you can go ahead and make final updates if you want over here. You can review everything that makes sense and you can kick off a send as well. So there you go. This is what the final review step looks like. And this is all the performance you can get. Before I let you go, one last thing. We know 65% to 80% of all B2B messages are read on your phone. So make sure your copy is mobile optimized. This one very tiny but extremely powerful feature ensures that you've got copy that is very good value to read and it's light on the eyes. Because if you write long paragraph messages that might look spread out in a larger format, in a mobile view, it will look massive, chunky, and looks over congested, and people will simply not read it, bounce. So you want to make sure that your copy is mobile optimized for a normal iPhone or Samsung or Android or whatever phone you're using screen. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and the value that you got out of this. There's a lot of cool videos for you to check out to ensure you create 
power packed campaigns to make sure you've got high deliverability and you're sending messages to leads straight into the primary inbox so you can convert them into high paying customers. Thank you. Have a great day and I'll speak to you soon.